Hey, this is Healthful. I'm Emma. And I'm Jay. So grab a tea and let's get started. Ooh, what's in your teacup? Oh, it's so good. Okay, <laughs> so I'm having uh, matcha. Oh, yum. I love a good matcha. Oh my God, I've already forget- forgotten the brand. I literally went and looked at it Kin- before. Kin- Kindra. Kindra. Kindra, yes. Kindra, yep, Kindra yep. matcha. Shout out to you guys. Yeah, wow, you do a good tea. Definitely. Good tea. I'm having a Byron Bay chai. Oh, Byron. Spilling the tea <laughs> over a Byron Bay chai. <laughs> And a matcha. Add Byron Bay and it adds, automatically adds like $10, right? Oh, probably. I 10% don't know. Byron discount. It looked pretty, so I just bought it. I mean, that's like marketing in general, right? Oh, totally. It's and gorgeous. this is this is kind of a good segue into our topic today, hey? Ooh, yeah. Right? What are we talking about today, Em? So, today we are discussing... Uh... <laughs> it's hard to summarize it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like we're discussing like, I don't know, I guess what we'd say we'd call like an umbrella term of purism. Yeah, purism in health. Yeah, yeah, right. And like this whole like reality around like what is the optimal healthy person and mm. what you should be doing as natural health practitioners. Mm. You know, we should be portraying health in its full form and not be real humans. Yeah, that's right. We have to be this like full on Instagram oh, special, God. you know, purist. Yeah, almost. purist. Which of course we don't have to, and that's not realistic. It's like our cult. It is like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's oh, the pray the celery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we love the celery juice. <laughs> but specifically, I think, um, you know, like, because I've thought about this a lot because I have, you know, going through my own purist health journey, I'll call it. And and since um, since that point, just observing, I'm really, I love watching people. I love um, sort of seeing other people's, I suppose, journeys or how they've developed as people. This probably doesn't make any sense right now, but... Um, it will later. It will later. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for later. Please listen. <laughs> <laughs> like, please don't leave us. <laughs> yeah, please, please don't leave us. But I'll get started. So so basically, um, like I got to a point in my life where I kind of, I'll call it, started my health kick. Like it, lots of things happened. Mm, um, the dreaded I, health kick. The dreaded health kick. But it, it was honestly like a lifestyle change for me. So I won't go into details. It's probably for another podcast, but basically um, I got into all these habits of everything that I had, everything that I bought um, or ate had to be natural or organic or, um, you know, that sort of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, it kind of got to a point after a while where like I was doing it without actually knowing what I was doing it for just purely because of the label. And you thought like you should be doing it. Yeah. Like, cause it says natural, it must be much better for me. Mm, which you know? I mean the word natural in itself oh. like I've been learning and what was I learning and I think it was like history of healing mm. or something and the word natural and mm. how many like negative connotations it has yeah. because technically mm. natural means that it's like no human intervention whatsoever you know like an, a rock is yep. natural yep. If, if it's not a rock that you found like in a pebble you know like <laughs> at a garden store that's not natural <laughs> like I mean like I'm talking like you're out in the bush and you come across a rock and you're like, that's a natural rock. Yeah. That's technically natural. Yeah, that's right. But the term's been so bastardized, hey? It's been butchered. It really has. So like natural doesn't actually mean natural anymore. No. You because know. pretty much everything has human intervention. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, are we even natural? Oh my God. Wow. No. A big philosophical hole there. We need to talk about philosophy. Oh, uh, that, write that down. Write it down. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back to, back to like health journeys and things like that. Like, yeah, I was I was buying everything organic. Everything had to be organic, even down to like my hair products, my um, my skincare, oh, and yeah. like full on di- mm. like my washing detergents for my my laundry and stuff mm. like that. And eventually, it got to a point where I just couldn't keep it up anymore because one, there was a cost with it, and oh, two, so expensive. right, and it made my life so much more stressful. Mm, because, you almost get overwhelmed. Yeah, exactly. Because I was like constantly just searching for products that only had those terms without, like you said, knowing what natural actually meant. Natural mm-hmm. does not necessarily mean it's good for you. Absolutely not. Uh, poison ivy is natural, <laughs> but doesn't mean you should rub it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> you can, but you'll end up with oh, a terrible rash. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> That's a bit painful. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, how about yourself, Emily? Like, you- I feel like I'd absolutely hardcore agree with that because like I feel like even now I mean I'm relatively new to my whole health kick I mean I don't know I don't know if I'd call it a health kick yeah more like I've come to a certain awareness and yeah that all started 
beginning my journey as a chiropractic assistant at First Choice Chiropractic. It opened my mind. Actually, no, you opened my mind in a lot of ways. Because before that, I would just, you know, grab all these chemicals and be like, yep, chemicals are good for my skin, you know, or blah, blah, blah. And I just do it, you know, for the Mm. sake of being like, I should. That's Mm. what's out there. So, yeah, I kind of had this thought that I, yeah, I I was just doing something without, with being mindless. Mm. And then, yeah, after starting work, and working with you and hearing about what you had to say, I was kind of like, oh my God, you're so right. I mean, that prompted me to go off my pill and, you know, like you were like, okay, let's try and remove some of the metals from your life, you know? And I was like, okay, cool. I need to go, I need to buy a natural deodorant. I need to change all my skincare products, toothpaste. all my match, like all my ma- like makeup, everything, like it all has to go, you know, <laughs> like, which in itself kind of is wasteful. And if we're coming from the term also environmentalism, mm. I feel like that's huge when it comes to being a purist you know Mm. if you're trying to be you know zero waste and things like that it gets really overwhelming yeah and i had done that in the past i tried to be like do the whole zero waste thing one it was expensive Mm. two it's unrealistic and Mm -hmm. three the capitalist society that we're living in does not really accommodate for it Mm. (laughs) capitalism Capitalism, (laughs) but yeah so i feel like recently i've just been trying to do the best i can But it is really hard. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I've noticed a lot of natural products aren't doing great things to myself. No. Which is really interesting, hey. Yeah. yeah. Like a lot of like the natural like cleansers and everything they have, they dry out my skin yep. like there's no tomorrow. Yep. And it's just because they've got natural ingredients in them. So they're derived from plants and blah blah blah. But they're not necessarily like fully formulated for skin concerns. Yeah, exactly. You know? And like you know, you can be like, oh yeah, no chemicals are bad, 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 bad. Mm. But like, it's kind of like saying like modern medicine is bad, bad, bad. That's right. You, you know, like, you've like, got to be one way or the other. It's not like a flip of a switch. No. It's not left and right, not black and white. It's kind of like, it's a technicolor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rainbow. <laughs> right that's what it is yeah literally and i think if we like trap ourselves in these ideas and i catch myself all the time where i'm like oh my god no like that's not natural yep. i shouldn't have that i shouldn't eat yep. that because it's got shit in it yeah exactly or it's got gluten in it so i have to buy the gluten-free version which is often oh, worse worse for you than actual just eating the yeah. gluten in the first place so i quickly learned that like that was not a that was not a way forwards if I wanted to live a really healthy lifestyle. Mm. And plus it was pretty damn annoying because it kind of, mm. you know, every t- I love going out to eat and every time I went out to eat somewhere, I'd be like searching for what was gluten-free and it just made it so hard to enjoy life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and, and like I've met people on like subsequently where they are really purist. They still live that way. And like, Props to you guys. I think that's amazing. If you're totally okay with that and you and you uh, and you you're know, happy and that doesn't go for it, mess up your mental health. Like, yep. Damn, yep. son. Or your social life. Yeah, it doesn't mess up your social life. Fantastic. Good for you. That reminds me of this time. So like, it was like a friend's party mm-hmm. and we went out for dinner, and I was sitting next to this person. I really didn't really know that well. I'm not naming any names, but like, I was sitting next to this person. I didn't really know them that well, and I was just trying to make conversation because mm. like. That's what you do. That's what you do. I was trying. I was trying. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, like, are you going to get some, anything to eat? Because we were all kind of, like, ordering ourselves. Because, yep. you know, we love, like, that app that you can order your food. You don't have to talk to anybody. And you just pay for it already. <laughs> you pay for it. All good to go. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I'd, like, ordered something. And I was like, cool. Like, are you going to get something? And they were like, oh, no. Like, um, I'm, like, there's no gluten and dairy-free things here. And I'm like, well, I'm gluten and dairy-free. And I just ordered something that was <laughs> gluten and dairy-free. Yeah. And they were like oh no 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 like that's that's probably not actually and i'm like <gasps> why are you here yeah. i'm like are you just gonna why did you there? come yeah that's they so weren't weird. drinking because they were on a challenge and oh. i was just like oh my god who brought this yeah. alcohol <laughs> you stay home. Home. yeah literally like it comes to a certain point like good on you like i'm yep. not saying that you know how dare you mm. try really hard mm. to be you know better for your be health. better and make those improvements absolutely but you also got to have a little bit of give. Yeah, exactly. You know? Otherwise, yep. life's not worth living. And I'm totally for that now these days. Like, I I try through the week to be pretty good um, with my diet. We're talking. Um, like, I don't really drink much alcohol or whatever. <laughs> During so. the week, I don't rob banks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I do all of that on the weekend. But, um, yeah, like, through the week, I'll make sure that I, you know, really balance my meals. And, like, I'll try and cook for myself because, obviously, I can control what goes in there yeah. and whatever. But on the weekend, that is my green light. I, again, I love food. I love eating out. I'm not going to limit myself to 
um, going somewhere, especially with friends and going, no, nah, can't eat anything on the menu. I'm just going to sit here and have water. Yeah. Like no one wants to go out with that person. No, that's right. <laughs> it's so limiting. And like you, when you're with, um, say people that, you know, they have certain dietaries, like that's all well and good. But when it becomes so far gone that you, it's just too hard to even invite them. That's what you want to avoid. I think. Yeah. And like, you know, fair enough if you're vegan or whatever, mm. because there are some amazing mm. vegan restaurants out there. Like, absolutely. Oh man, we've come a long way. And there absolutely are gluten-free like places. Like I try not to eat gluten mm. and dairy just because it's really not worth it for me yep. with the consequences I have. But yep. that doesn't mean that I don't have fun. doesn't yeah. mean that I don't go out and try things. That's right. I just have to get a bit more creative. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I think it like, it comes down to balance. You oh, know? balance That's is like everything. the magic word. Yeah. The balance. scales. The scales. The scales. I am a Libra. <laughs> Well, there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> what about cleansers? Like I've, I've seen obviously a couple of things on like Instagram, you know, ads and stuff like that, where there's like juice mm. cleansing things. And like, I've seen celebrities like do celery cleansers or oh juice my God. things. I have such a bone to pick with cleansers. Oh, I really, I really fucking hate them. Mm. Like, look, I used to think once upon a time, like, oh my God, I have to tell you. <laughs> so I, this was probably about, oh four years ago mm. now and I was seeing all over YouTube mm. this chick called I don't know if you've heard of her Freely the Banana Girl no and she was encouraging people to do this thing called Banana Island where you literally for like two days straight you eat nothing but bananas what the hell <laughs> How is that even a thing? Yeah, because bananas are so good for you. So I was like, oh my God, that's so true. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, no joke, went to the Kelvin Grove markets and I bought probably about three bunches of bananas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you just ate bananas. I ate know? bananas. And it's like, you don't eat like bananas straight. Like it gets boring. So you make yeah. banana smoothies. <laughs> then you make banana ice cream. Banana bread. <laughs> banana <laughs> And I no joke, and I didn't shit for days. You <laughs> <laughs> poor thing. Yeah, but I was like, I'd seen this trend, and I'd heard from a couple people, and then I'm trying out Banana Island for like a weekend, and I was like, oh my god, I want to try Banana oh Island, and I was like, oh yeah, it's like this thing. I was young, naive, mm. stupid, whatever you want to call her. Like that's past Emma. We don't yeah. talk about her. <laughs> but now I like now I have the knowledge that I have. Yep. I'm like you idiot. <laughs> like that was never gonna work. No. Like what did I think I was gonna achieve? Like some magical health solution? I don't know. Bananas but was, have it all. Uh, bananas, man, the magic fruit. <laughs> <laughs> that is so bizarre. I know. And Gosh. like I think now, like I hear about people doing like juice cleansers mm. and. Um, oh my god, going over to Bali oh. and they do like these juice cleansers in Bali, which oh my god, red flag, red flag, yeah, going already. somewhere and they're like, We're gonna feed you nothing but juice. <laughs> and I hope you have plenty of toilets. <laughs> that's right, exactly. Or if you get constipated, well, you won't need a toilet then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, like it's gonna go to uh, either of two ways. Yep. Either you're not gonna shit at all, or you're gonna be oh, shitting it's, on it's stuff. It's gonna be running out of you like yeah. lava. <laughs> <laughs> lava! <laughs> Oh my goodness me. I are uh, like look if we're talking about like the metabolism yep. of your body yep. and how you know if you're doing it for weight loss for example you know it doesn't work mm. because the moment you start eating again yep. after you you yeah that's you, right you've, you've you put it back on yeah exactly you've had a completely different food um like a diet mm. and you're switching diets of course things are going to be different right yeah they're gonna be different but for how long it's not exactly. sustainable it's not sustainable i don't i don't know about you but like i don't think i've had juices before they taste great but you know the big mm. problem i think um especially those who haven't really done the research i'm not saying of course don't have any juices but because that comes into purity well that's right exactly but um, what people don't realize if they're going blindly into something, Oh, I saw this person do this juice cleanse. They lost tons of weight. I'm going to do it too. How often do you actually eat that much fruit that, I mean, it's not normal. <laughs> you squeeze an orange with the old school squeezer. How much juice actually comes out? Oh, you get like less than a quarter of a cup. So little, right? And so to make up a full, like drink you have to how juice. many oranges are yeah. you freaking consuming you and like, wouldn't sit down no. with 10 oranges <laughs> and be like and num num <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. makes no sense no. And like, then, oh. like from the 
the veggie side of things, because now there's kind of like a push towards more vegetable juices, mm-hmm. which, you know, in themselves have their own benefits, but you're missing all the fiber, all the other nutrients. The actual stuff that's yeah, good for you in exactly. those things. Exactly. And that's probably why people are really getting constipated, because they're not yeah, eating all the there's fiber. There's no fiber. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Like, I see it too. And I'm just like, and it's what's interesting too, is like, think about it. So if you sat down and you had a glass of apple juice, yep. you know, it feels like nothing. Yep. And you've that, think about how many apples are in that. That's right. like, you know, apples are juicy. Yeah, sure. But not that juicy. And apples are good for you, but not to that like extent. Like five apples no. in one day. And if you sat down and you just like sat down yeah. and ate five apples at one, I bet you, you probably wouldn't be able to get through no. all five of them. If you can, maybe you should enter an eating competition because yeah. that's <laughs> impressive. You are a competitive <laughs> apple eater. <laughs> and like, but I think that, and I'm just like, if you sat down and you ate five apples, Oh, you couldn't you, do it. You never would. No, because that's crazy. No, yeah, that's exactly. But right. it, we've like conditioned ourselves to think, you know, that eating, you know, drink, eating, like drinking and eating fruit. is different. Because it's, 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 it's natural. Healthy. It's healthy. It's just pretty much sugar. Yep, it's it's exactly. Yes, right. it's good sugars because they come from a natural source. Yep. Well, natural is our word. There's our word. Natural. natural. Uh, Trigger word. <laughs> yeah, I'm triggered. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's like yeah, it's a good source of like your fructose and everything Absolutely, like that. Yep. But that's so intense yeah, to have nothing but fructose much, way too much yeah and the insulin spike you're going to get from it mm. and the potential like if that keeps going on like the I know that a lot of people with diabetes can't have juice because it's too much that's exactly right so yes it's natural but they can't have fruits or veggies with high levels of sugar yeah because it's just it's too much it's I mean look if you want to do something like a drink form I highly recommend a smoothie oh, because smoothies are so good you're blending the whole fruit you're not missing out on all and that and you're less likely to put in too much yeah you know? and they're thick and you can tell the difference and it's like actually fills you up mm. because you've got all that fiber in there all you've the just nutrients. blended it all together that's right yeah. that's like yeah oh man <laughs> it's changed how I've looked at juice hey yeah now it's like it's pretty much the same. I look at it like I kind of look at soft drink. Mm. You know, like I'll have a juice every now and then. Because yet again, it's about balance. You yeah. know, I'm not going to be like, I'm never having juice again. <laughs> my name is Emma and it's been 10 weeks since my last <laughs> juice. Like, <laughs> hand yep. on heart, you know, yeah. like, but it's, I would still want to be able to enjoy juice because yep. it tastes so good. It does taste really nice. Like, but... you know what's really, really mm. good? This is totally not good for you. But, like, <laughs> you get, like, the nudies, cloudy apple juice, oh, yeah. mix it with lemonade. Oh, Ooh. damn, son. Like a little spritz. It's delicious. Like a, a natural spritz. Natural spritz. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sugar on sugar, but it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another option. There's your treat for the weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Have that bit of vodka. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, that's for weekends. <laughs> yeah, what about organic? Like, the term organic, because that... I got hooked up on, like I said before, so I, much. Look, when I was in year 10, yes. So this was yonks ago. Back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> um, old person talk. <laughs> I did an assignment when I was in yeah biology about the difference of organic and whether one, does it have actually any health benefits? Mm. Two, does it impact the environment mm. that much? Three, like, is it a good option or mm. a viable option? Mm-hmm. And the, the research that was out there back then mm-hmm. didn't say it brought you any more, mm. like, um, actual... Like, nutrients? Nutrient value. There's yep. no much more nutrients. Mm-hmm. The chemicals, they were a problem. Mm-hmm. Like, that was a very minute problem, mm-hmm. though. And, like, the environmental impact was more to do with, like, the mass production... But production. Pro- <laughs> production? That's not a word. Mass production and, like, the farming side of things yep. rather than actually necessarily the chemicals. It was yep. just, like clearing a forest and things like yeah. that that was more impactful yeah yep. and that kind of is always like because i did that i mean look yeah look research may have changed mm-hmm. but back then i that kind of put like took away yeah. that little bit of that you know oh my god organic is there yeah. because i was like mm, I is, it, is it really and that's interesting you say that because um so one of the courses that i'm doing at the moment um there was a unit on GM, so genetic modification. Oh, like what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? So, in context, um, genetic modification with regards to, um, yeah, farming practices and stuff. And, like, it was a big boom. It obviously helped agriculture so we could have more food in our supply and we'd never go hungry, blah, blah, blah. But it was really, really, really interesting because because the genetic modification of some of those crops meant that, like, the, the crops themselves were not 
um, as in they could be resistant to certain bugs and molds. And so they could just grow happily without, mm. you know, but it didn't obviously stop the problem of say weeds or other things in the ground that was growing next to the crop. So they still have to spray it with pesticides and stuff. And so it was really interesting because um, one of the assignments I had to do was looking at are there benefits, are there negatives to genetic modification, especially with our crops. And mm. I was kind of like, of course there's like all negatives to do with this because, you know, GM, like it's changing. The, natural the, is best. Yeah, natural is best. And like the genetic structures all mucked around and blah, blah, blah. And um, during my research, it was kind of interesting to see that I was like, you know what? I actually feel like I have more of a balanced view of GM and the, the need for GM crops but obviously also the negative. So yeah, they still spray Roundup. They still have to do all those sorts of things. And yes, the plant itself has been modified and we still don't know the long-term effects of that. So that's kind no. of the scary part. But for now, a lot of researchers said, look, it doesn't seem to affect any of our DNA or cause yeah. any disease processes or that sort of thing. I Maybe mean, I mean, like too, like that saying that, you know, if, it, if they are building a stronger plant, that means mm. that we probably do have to use less than we would if mm. they weren't genetically modified. Mm. So isn't it itself what's the lesser of two evils? That's right. Yeah. So again, it comes back to that concept of balance that you were talking about. You have to kind of weigh up the options. And yeah. so like in my life, um, I don't always buy organic. Uh, me neither i can't afford it <laughs> yeah <laughs> the cost that's right but like um where you can of course do it like yeah. there's the dirty what is it the dirty dozen or something um of the i thought it was dirty 30 i'm like no no that's for someone's that's, birthday that's a birthday thing that's not what we're talking about dirty 30. <laughs> <laughs> i had a dirty 30 a couple of years ago oh god <laughs> I know I'm ancient um but yeah like the the dirty whatever it is um of all the fruit and veg that is kind of like a big no-no if you're gonna like if you're gonna go organic if you're gonna go organic you should do. that's right these are the ones that you should definitely try and buy organic I know broccoli's on there um a lot of berries are on there mm. um I can't remember if apple's on there. anyway yes apples are because uh, of that wax shit yeah. they put on it which kind of freaks me out actually. I know it looks really gross like, what I'm, is that I'm like looking at it I'm like why is there like why toothpaste is it, shiny? it looks like toothpaste like someone's you know the um when you wash your sink and you still have that kind of smear oh that like film yeah, like it looks <laughs> or like you've that. like rubbed it on your mirror yes I mean exactly. I don't go around rubbing I toothpaste say, on my mirror I don't know you're what like, you're doing what? with your mirror <laughs> you're like uh huh okay <laughs> but yeah like I don't know, just the, the things like that that you can kind of balance, you can compromise, mm. you can still like feel good about if your you can choices. do it, you know. Yeah. And I think that's like I think that's what the whole thing about, mm. you know, being a purist is if you can do it, like mm. if you can have organic, if you can have it natural as possible, mm. if you can do it, absolutely. Yep. Because yeah, in in probably retrospect, that probably is gonna be a bit better for you. Yeah, that's right. But you shouldn't be putting yourself in a box, you shouldn't be going out there and yeah. having fun because you're like, no no and like stressing out about it. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, who's that gonna help? <laughs> that's right. Like you don't you don't want to be that person that again we were talking about before, they're going out to a social event and they're like the worst person to hang out with because of their choices. Buzzkill. Absolutely. Buzzkill buzz kill. Ben. Yep. Exactly. Ben the bus <laughs> His name wasn't Ben. <laughs> no, it wasn't Ben. I mean, who's Ben anyway? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's a saying. I just came up with it. Yeah. That's an Emma saying now. Yeah. That's copyright. You can't use that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, yeah. a good one. Yeah. No, I, I totally think that. I think we've like rounded that up well, you know, yep. like do what you can when yep. you can, but don't get stuck in the yeah. thought of like have to. Yeah, exactly. Like it has to be a balanced thing. Mm -hmm. you, you can't. Well, I don't think you should be one way or the other. I've done that before and it really stressed me out. Absolutely. And, and I can't say that it necessarily made my life any healthier per se. No. Because um, anything, I feel like your mental health is impacted more. And at the end of the day, that kind of is more important mm, than anything else. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and one quick thing, like for a little while there, I was doing um, a little bit of like midweek vegan stuff. So not to trash on any vegans. I think, again, like you said before too, if you're vegan, go ahead. That, that's fantastic if you can keep that up. But I tried it out for a little while and I actually found that um, I just had to be way more creative and that in itself stressed me out. So I was trying to think, okay, well, I'm definitely gluten dairy free. Um, adding the vegan thing on top of that. <laughs> what can I eat? <laughs> and I was literally, oh my God, I just have to, like, I've made up this stir fry of veggies and stuff like that, but is that all I can have? Yeah. So, you know, obviously, and then forgive, you're missing out on some very important food. Groups. Like, forgive my ignorance if I, oh, I just need to be more creative. But, you know, I have a busy lifestyle. I can't be mm. thinking and planning my meals that hard yeah. all the time. Then it becomes like this horrible thing that you like start looking at food in the wrong way. Food yes. is a gift. Exactly. How it should good be is it? enjoyed. Yeah, absolutely. Loved, cherished, enjoyed. You know, like yep. it is like 
I honestly think it's God's gift to the world. Mm-hmm. Oh, yep. No, I totally agree with you on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, and I think, like, that comes down to it. Balance, you know? Yep. Know your place, know what you can do, and, you know, just focus on what you can achieve. That's right. Yeah. So if you guys have any stories about purism... Or, oh, yeah, or, like, any questions of, like, you know, should I be trying to have yeah. this? Like, okay, so I want a cleanser. Should this be more natural? Mm. Or can I have some chemicals? Mm. Hit us up. We will give you <laughs> some form of answer. <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not it's a good one or not, I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no right or wrong, is there? Yeah, no. Oh. Again, balance. You look at your whole entire lifestyle, and if, yeah. it, if it kind of fits with, you know, if you have other good habits in there, yeah. maybe it's not so bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, guys. And also, you can message us on our Instagram now. What is it? What's that? <laughs> Wait, no, no, it's Healthful Gals Podcast. There That's we go. right. Yeah, I was gonna because like no. it's confusing. Somebody else. Healthful Podcast Gals. Healthful Podcast Gals. Yeah, Healthful Podcast Gals. Sorry, Sorry. somebody <laughs> somebody else actually took the Healthful Podcast. Yeah, that bitch. on Instagram, and they literally have no profile picture, no nothing, nothing on their thing. So that like maybe they developed it. Sorry, we we beat you to the punchline. Yeah, exactly. Like too late. Yeah. But yeah, hit us up. Or, yep. you know, you can find Jade at Captain Jade Sparrow. Or, or Emma at Raw and Real Nutrition. You know my Instagram handle? Of course I do. No. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, guys, like if there's anything that you guys want us to like chat about or, um, you know, touch Questions, on. Questions, thoughts, yep. feedback. You know, we can take a bit of constructive criticism. Absolutely. Please be nice. <laughs> <laughs> we can take it, but don't be mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think this. I think this one was wraps a it up. Really important. Good thing tea, to talk about. sis. I think I'm ready for another cup of tea. Oh yeah, let's get another one. Frank Walker from National Tiles. National Tiles. <laughs> Frank Walker from National Tiles. <laughs>